Hey y'all, it's your girl Simone and welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today is another story time. So before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give your girl a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. It'll be in the description box, Instagram, Viva La Yoshi, TikTok, Twitter, Life with Simone. And follow my business page at Brashari because we got the new looks coming. I got one right here, so I'll show y'all real quick. But look at this, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's just one of them. It's other colors coming too with the summer collection, August 15th. But um, before we get into this video, I did want to go ahead and say, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen, if you know, you know that I am doing a group trip collab with I Am Asia. So you guys, yes, it's a real trip. It will be in February of 2024. We're going to Guatemala. If you would like to go on the trip, make sure you secure your spot because spots are limited. All you have to do is pay $300 to secure your spots. Go to her Instagram, Travel Babes, or go to her regular Instagram and then go to her bio and it'll have the Travel Babes and the website, all that. Go ahead and secure a spot. You can make payments on it. You can bring a friend. Yeah, go ahead. We about to be lit. If y'all seen her last girl's trip, it was lit. So make sure y'all go ahead and book because we're about to have a time. I'm excited for that. But yeah, okay, let me get into the story time. So y'all, this story is about the big head ass nail psycho. So what made me want to tell this story is because y'all, nail psycho never leaves me alone. It's like, he's like a person that just don't go away. Y'all, I hope my lace ain't looking bad because I feel like it's like lifting. But anyway, but yeah, just in case if it is, because you know, it'd be somebody in the comments about your lace was lifting and it made me sad. But anyway, okay, let me finish the story. So, um yeah so one day i was supposed to get my hair done by my friend but i was playing so much like waiting until the last minute that i ended up getting like she was booked at that time so i ended up going to get my hair done by somebody else like this girl i seen on instagram so i'm like hitting her and she was like she had an availability for the day that i wanted which probably was like it was one day during the week i just know i had to go to work so she was like you could come early so i'm like okay cool because i gotta be to work by i think at like 2 p.m and she was like okay yeah i should be done by then she was doing me a sewing so I go to her house. I already have my hair washed and all that stuff, you know, because even back then, the stylist didn't play that. They don't do shit, but you, you know, anyway, let me stop. No offense to none of the hairstylists. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so I went to her house. I had my bundles washed, everything like that. And when I got there, she was still doing somebody else's hair. So I was kind of irritated because it's like, girl, I told you I got to go to work, like literally, today so i really don't have time and at this time my car was messed up y'all know me early 20s 1918 my car is always messed up because i didn't know how to deal with a car like i really didn't i just assumed that they should have been looking at my car for me but anyway so yeah so my car is messed up my grandpa had already dropped me off to go get my hair done and he was gonna pick me back up and take me to work love that man so anyway so I'm there. She's still doing somebody else hair. So I'm just sitting there for a cool minute because I'm thinking like, okay, because she's like, you could just sit down. She's like, you want some water? Girl, no, I want you to start my damn head. So, um, yeah, so I'm sitting there. She's just doing a girl hair. She's talking. It was another girl up in there, too. You could tell she was getting her hair done. So I'm thinking like, I don't know what place she in she in, but I'm next. So, um, yeah, so finally I was sitting there for like a good five minutes, y'all. And I'm the type, I don't know, like, I feel like I was super nice. That's why I used to go through a lot of shit. So people kind of like run over me. But at this point, I'm like, yeah, that nice shit, that quiet, like, not quiet, but being nice and not saying shit, about to go out the window. Because, girl, what are you doing? So I ended up telling her, like, um, hey, girl, she don't need no hand. And if y'all hear noises, it's the chair. I'm moving around in the chair so it make noises. Because one time somebody was like, girl, oh, my God, I heard someone fart. No, you didn't. So anyway, yeah, so she, um, yeah, so I'm like, girl, when are you starting on my hair? Like, I just asked her, I'm like, when are you starting on my hair? She's like, oh, okay, let me start right now, let me start right now. So I was just kind of annoyed because it's like, you was finna finish, um, braiding this girl because the girl she was doing was getting braided. So it's like, you was finna finish braiding this girl hair when you knew that I'm sitting here supposed to get started. So she like, oh shit, oh shit, my bad, let me start right now. And mind y'all, she was doing individuals, not box braids, not not lids, not mini braids, individuals, like really small individuals on this girl head. And she probably was in the back. And y'all, this is, you know, when people, oh, well, people probably still do this, but you know, when people never used to braid the middle of their head. They used to just do a beehive and just braid like the outer. Yeah. So she was on the, um, beehive part which was really weird that she did some of the braids in the back and then did the beehive wouldn't it be smart to do the beehive first and then do the other braids or all the other braids i really don't know i'm not hairstylist so i don't know but anyway so she was like starting to grow beehive so she was like let me just finish this little beehive and then i got you or i'm about to come do your hair so i was like all right cool so i asked her guys i said, do you think that i'll be done by two whatever i think 
yeah 2 p.m i'm like cuz i gotta go to work because if not i could reschedule so she like girl no i got you i got you i got you mind you my friend had told me she could do my hair the next day i should have just been patient but anyway so she get done with her and when she was done with her the girl was telling me like girl that you you about to be crying like you about to be crying she's like you ever got your hair done with her before so i'm like no i haven't so she's like yeah you finna be crying so i'm like oh i got my hair done like by plenty of people who braid tight so tight like i'm not really tripping so she's like okay whatever girl so i'm sitting there mind you i didn't eat this day i went straight to her house so i'm sitting there she doing my hair she is braiding kind of tight and i'm just like mm you know but it's like it's one thing to braid tight but if you finna sew some tracks in somebody's head tight as hell now it's gonna be like a double like what the fuck my head is fucking doing like this so anyway so she like starts sewing it in she's sewing that shit in real tight like she trying to rip the thread through my hair that's one thing why i don't like getting sewings no more well why i don't like i would wouldn't go to nobody else because you know that thread really could rip your hair especially she didn't put no net or nothing on there so it's like you really pulling like when i let me finish so anyway, she pulling it tight. So I'm telling her like, oh, you kind of doing it tight. She's like, oh, well, I like to do my sewings really tight because I like my sewings to last so my customers could come back. Bitch, I ain't never coming back with you fucking killing my head like this. So I was just like, okay, well, I'm not really tripping. You can kind of do mine loose. I'm like, because I usually did my own hair. I just wanted, you know, I was working and I'm like, treat yourself, girl. Go get your hair done by somebody because probably before then, no, I did get my hair done by somebody else, but it was never me. This was like my first time paying somebody to do my hair versus like my mom or my grandma taking me to the shop or something like that. And I'm not even talking about when I was a kid, like if I was in high school or just like something like, or even when I did get my hair done, like in, as like 18 or something like that, my mom paid for it. So it was my first time actually me paying for it. So that's why I was like, I just want to treat myself. Anyway, so I'm like, girl, yeah, you don't have to do it so tight. Long story short. So she like, oh, okay so it's like i said that and that shit went out the window because she's doing my hair so tight so i'm like girl can i get that water you was telling me about because my head is pounding so she ended up giving me the water and the other girl she's like girl i told you i told you that's why i only get individuals i'll never let her do me no sewing da 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 and all this other stuff so then the other girl just laughing she was just like girl it's not that deep like your head just gonna hurt for like two three days but you'll be okay at least you're gonna look cute so i'm like two three days <laughs> the fuck so anyway she um still did my hair tight as hell and i kept telling her like girl you know it's kind of tight but i didn't want to complain too much but she was still just doing that shit tight but it seemed like the more i complained the more tighter she would do it but so but she was trying to do it faster She's like well i'm just trying to get you out the way you got to be to work at 2 p.m and i'm just like okay this bitch a bitch y'all ain't never come back to you so anyway she did my hair or whatever she styled it it was cute or whatever right so i'm like okay thank you she curled it my grandpa came and got me but before oh before he came and got me i was telling her like i got a headache my head was hurting so bad it was like pounding it was a mixture of a hunger headache and this bitch just swelled my head up so i'm just like um do you got like tylenol or something like that aspirin so she was like oh i got something better so i was like okay what you got so she was like oh they just some um pain medicine and i was like okay so she was like yeah because she was recently in i think like a minor car accident or something like that it was something that recently happened to where she had these pills so she was like yeah i got these pills or whatever so she came and she was just like yeah you could take one and then she passed me the bottle because mind you at this point i'm waiting on my grandpa and she started doing the other girl head again like the braids so I get the pill bottle, mind you, the pill bottle don't even say her damn name on it. So I'm just confused, like, um, didn't you say these was your bills? So I'm just like, what are these? Like, you know, even though they say the name, they say what they are on the bottle. I don't know why I couldn't do a quick Google. My head was hurting too bad. I couldn't think right. So I'm just like, should I just take one? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So I'm like, I haven't ate anything. So should I wait? She's like, girl, no, take it now because it's going to kick in. So by the time you get work, you'll be okay. Like all this other stuff. If you wait, like it'll be bad. She's just telling me like, girl, I never eat when I take those pills. Like I just take them because I be in pain. You know, who have the time to eat when they in pain? Like you ain't going to be able to eat now. Like she really just telling me to take to do it, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it. So I take the pill, y'all, right there at her house. Because I like how she kind of was doing it was like, take the pill now. So I take the pill or whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I take it and I'm like, mm, whatever. It's like probably like 10 minutes after I take it, my grandpa ended up pulling up. And I started walking down her stairs to go out her house. Because she's like, all right, bye. Like, lock the bottom lock or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, bye. So when I'm walking out the stairs to go downstairs. I felt lightheaded as fuck like I was going to pass out. So I'm thinking like it's because I didn't eat nothing. So my grandpa was taking me straight to work. But I'm like, can you stop and give me something to eat? So I ended up getting like, I forgot, like probably McDonald's or some shit. I got some fast food. And by the time I got to work, because when I worked in the center, I need a mall. Oof, stories. This was my first ever job was at the mall. But, yeah, I got a lot of stories from that job. But um, just working in the mall, period. If you work in a mall and you a girl, you know you know. Oh, let me finish the story. So, anyway, I get to work. 
by the time we at the workplace because mind y'all i live in la the girl lived in la who did my hair i work in santa anita at the santa anita mall don't know why the hell oh that was a i seen it on indeed they hired me and i was like i get to here because i had a car but my car's messed up but anyway so yeah so i um i go to work while i'm walking inside the mall i'm feeling so lightheaded even after i ate so i'm just still drinking water drinking water i'm like okay maybe it'll go away but y'all like i said my head is still hurting so i'm like the fuck type of pill this girl give me because it didn't kick in so i don't know why i text her like hey girl how long have the, did it take you for the pill to kick in because my head is hurting really bad still and i feel sick and she was like oh you feel sick because you didn't eat girl don't tell me what's wrong with my body so she's like you didn't you feel sick because you didn't eat she was like and i'm like but you said i could take the pill without eating she's like yeah you could i'm saying but you feel sick because you waited too long in the daytime to eat so she was like but it should kick in like if they haven't kicked in yet probably like in the next 15 10, 20 minutes so i'm like all right whatever so i go to work i clock in they like hey how you doing my job they used to get on my fucking nerves at this job i would say where i worked at because i don't even think they have a store anymore in the fucking anywhere like i think they only do online when i checked them up they didn't have no store oh wait i think they still got one at a different location which that's a whole nother story time you know it was like a, okay anyway it was the store was called alley fashion so anyway so they wanted us to wear their clothing which okay i kind of get it i understand but what this is how it didn't make sense to me i'm a college student i'm working y'all clothes cost a certain amount of money this is a part-time job you think that they honestly thought because i was like okay i'll probably buy like a little sweater or two or something like that and just put it over my clothes switch it up you know a cute little cardigan or like a little blazer and just switch it up or something like that a shirt maybe some pants they wanted you to wear head to toe they clothes from head to toe they clothes and it's every day that you work my job i worked part-time but i would pick up a lot of shifts after school so it's like i would work um sometimes monday through friday and then probably had a weekends off or probably work like sunday through thursday i worked a lot of days but i would be part-time though but i just didn't understand because you think that i'm working here to buy club buy y'all clothes that's really how they felt so i come in a job mind y'all already i had forgot because i was just rushing to go to her house get my hair done that i didn't put on like a shirt or nothing from the job but mind y'all had like plain clothes on y'all make it seem like i'm walking up in here with hollister or something that just literally say some other company's name so they like and then plus you wear a badge anywhere so i walk up in there and a girl she was like um the manager girl she used to be trying to play cool but she'll have other people do her dirty work so she came over there and she was just like hey simone i'm looking cute where that we sell that top here I, I didn't see that top I, I like that top i think i want it we sell it here so i was like oh no but my job my head hurt but i'm trying to put on a smile so i'm like oh no um and the lights i don't know why i felt like if i had a black you know you, never mind so i'm like oh no um I got this from Forever 21 or something like that, probably like that. And she was like, oh, Forever 21? Oh, I just assumed you would have a shirt on from Allie. Oh, okay. So I'm like, yeah. Well, gonna go clock in. Like, you know, like. So I went to go clock in. When I came back out, it was the other lady. And she was just like, girl, you know, you're supposed to be wearing the clothes. You know, they want you to wear the clothes. Mind you, this girl was a, literally a regular lady at the job. She did not, wasn't a manager or nothing. She, she was like older than us too. So she's like, you know, they want you to be wearing the clothes. So I was like, yeah, but I forgot. Like, it's not like they said they would like dock you or anything like that. So sometimes if I forgot, I just forgot shit. Oh, well. But I would honestly would try. But it's like, yeah. So she's like, I was like, I forgot. So she's like, well, if you want, I could ring you up and you could buy something and go change. So I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So she's like, well, we just got paid Friday. So you could. No, the fuck I can't. So I'm like, no, I can't. So she was like, why? Like, we just got paid Friday. Like, you don't want to buy something? We got some new merchandise that came out. Like, we got some new stuff. You go buy it. So I was like, no. And I was just like, because, bitch, what? Mind y'all, y'all know. My first job, I forgot how much I was getting paid. I probably was getting paid like 14, either 30, probably like either from 12 to 4, no. I think I was probably getting paid $12 an hour. So it was like, you really think that I'm gonna spend all my money to buy y'all clothes? Y'all shit was high. Like, it would be like a pair of pants in there for like $40 or something like that, top for like 20, even though that's not much, but it's like when you work in part time and you going to school putting gas in your car and feeding yourself, you're literally gonna be spending your whole paycheck on buying clothes from this store if they want you to wear it every single day you're here. And I'm here damn near every day.
And then if you wear it, like, because when I used to try to do the little sweater shit, like, switch it out, sweaters, they'd be like, oh, like, you know, maybe switch it up, like, with new stuff. They'll really try to convince me to buy new clothes. And for one, the quality wasn't even that good, honestly. I ain't even gonna lie. But don't know how it is now, because that was a long time ago. But anyway, so yeah, so she's just telling me that. So I'm like kind of annoyed because my job at this point, my head is already hurting. So I'm like, um, no, I'm not buying anything today. Like, I'm not buying anything. So I was all like, is anything like y'all want me to do? Where y'all want me at in the store today? Like, where y'all want me at? So then the other girl came up to me and she was like, yeah, could, did you believe Simone got this shirt from Forever 21? I thought she got it from here. Like, I could have just swore she got it from here. It's so cute, right? So the girl's like, yeah, it's really cute, huh? But, like, she's kissing her ass like, it's like, bitch, you was just trying to tell me to buy some shit. But it's like, I know she told you something. That's why you told me something. So she was like, yeah, it's so cute, right? It's so cute. But it's not as cute as the shirts we have here. And she was like, right. And I'm just like, so where do you guys want me today? Like, y'all want me to front? Y'all want me in the... Well, the fitting room, wherever. So they was like, yeah, go to the fitting room. Which I felt like, oh, I hated doing fitting room. Oh, my God. That's why women are nasty as fuck. The fitting rooms used to be so fucking nasty. That shit stunk bad. Like, how bad them motherfucking clothes stunk. I'm surprised they put them on hangers and put them back on the fucking floor. I would suggest having a washing machine in the back. Or just telling people, like, maybe you got to do a smell test before you let them go back there. You'll walk in the fitting rooms. They'll leave clothes, just piles of clothes on the floor. And she was just crazy, dirty as fuck, food, like, it was just dirty and shit like that. It was just horrible. But anyway, so, yeah, but, oh, yeah, mind y'all, before I went over there, I did tell them, like, hey, my head, I'm kind of not feeling good today and all this other stuff. So they like, oh, okay, well, just, you know, the girl, she was just like, oh, well, you look fine. The manager girl, you look fine, the Forever 21 girl. Maybe I should give her a name. Let's just call her, I I'm not going to give her a name. So she was like, yeah, um, you look fine. So I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel good today. She was like, oh, okay. Mind y'all, they will only have us like two at a time. Sometimes there'll be three people in the store. But like when I come in, the third person will end up leaving. So I knew she wasn't going to be there that long. It was just going to be me and the other girl that was trying to convince me to buy shit. So eventually like some time go by, she ended up leaving. And I kept going back to the back room because I had to like pace myself, y'all. I was going back to the back room throwing the f up. Like I would go to the bathroom and be up in there throwing up. So when it was my break, I didn't want to go to the back room to throw up. Oh no, it was three people in the store today. Yeah, okay, so I didn't want to go to the back room to throw it because it seemed like every time I kept going to the back room to throw it, mind you, I'm not telling them that's what I'm doing. But after a while, I kept going back there. This one other girl kept going back there. Like, I could tell she's trying to see what the fuck I'm doing. It's like, girl, work. I hate micromanagers. Like, not micromanagers, but I hate people who want to fake be a manager in a store. So, I end up um, on my break, on my actual break. I end up leaving and walk to the food court to go to the bathroom over there. So I'm feeling so fucked up, like dizzy as hell. Mind y'all, it was this boy I ended up meeting who worked at Foot Locker, which is so crazy because y'all, I don't know, he was a weirdo, but I, I, never mind. If I say if I say what I was going to say, y'all going to probably think I'm a crazy person. I ain't going to even say that. But yeah, so I met this boy that worked at Foot Locker at the mall or whatever, and we just going to call him, <laughs> we going to call him Red. Ed. That was his name anyway. So anyway, so yeah, I met him. So I'm walking past. And I, at this point, we used to just like randomly text each other. We never hung out. Y'all, that nigga was fucking weird when we hung out. But anyway, so yeah, I'm walking past. And he was just like, hey, like, how you doing? He used to seem like the most sweetheart. A sweetheart. So yeah, so he's like, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm like, oh, I'm okay, but I'm just in a rush. I'm about to just go to the food court. Like, I don't really feel good or whatever. So he's like, oh, okay, like, what's wrong? And all this other stuff. So he had some wheat crackers for some weird reason. And um, he was like, yeah, you can have my crackers if you want them. Like, you could feel better and all this other stuff. So I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Like, you know, he went and got them for me. And then he had got me a water. And I was just like, thank you. He's like, do you want to sit in the store? Like, you come sit in the store or whatever. He's like, I pretty much could do whatever I want here. If you want, you go sit in our break room. Why would I sit in y'all break room? I have my own break room bitch i'm just kidding not like that so i'm just like no it's fine like it's okay like i'm just gonna go and he's like okay well let me know if you're okay like and i'm like yeah i might just see if i could leave early and mind you he knew about my car situation cause i told him so he's like well if you leave early i get off at this time because he was he had was gonna get off before me he's like i get off at this time i could give you a ride if and you know all this other stuff and y'all, y'all see why I'm doing that when I tell a story about this man. But he like, I'll see if I can give you a ride, all this other stuff. I mean, I could give you a ride, just let me know, all this other stuff. So I'm like, okay, thank you so much, Red. Like, um, it's cool, but I'm just about to go or whatever. 
So I'm going to that food court bathroom and I was like Bleh, just going in. I felt so sick. I could barely stand up. I almost hit my head on the damn toilet and rolled under the stock. And I'm just kidding. I'm being dramatic. But I really couldn't stand up and I really was throwing up like my whole insides. Like I was sick as fuck. So I ended up coming back to, oh, did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm stupid. I was going to say, did I shark? You know, y'all know. No, I didn't. Because I'm trying to think like, did I have like, did I have a. Was it coming out both ends? <laughs> was it? I don't really remember. You know what? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was just, I was just thrown up. Okay. I had to just remember like, was I in there? Because y'all, I really would. Whenever I, when I worked at the mall and I had to take a, I would go to the food court. Because I'm like, I'm not going to blow up our one bathroom back there. Y'all know it's me. Like, I'm going to food court. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So I ended up going back to my, what's it called? And I'm mad because talking to that to that fuck nigga he wasn't a fuck nigga at that point but talking to him it took up so much of my throwing up time so i'm going back and i'm trying to hold it i'm like mm, mm, like throwing it like trying to hold it so bad so when i finally walked in the store old girl was like simone you're two minutes late from your break so i was like okay like you know and i'm like okay okay so i like ran to the back to go throw up and the other girl she was like where is she going like she's already let me stop doing these voices but the other girl was like where is she going not the manager she was gone at this point but the girl was like where is she going like she already um Two minutes late and i want to take my break like i heard her when i started running to the back but i ran to the back to throw up because what y'all want me to throw up on y'all so i ended up going to the back throwing up and um when i came back out the girl she was supposed to wait for me to come back before she took a break but she just left she used to be like a bitch like she was that girl was just so weird she hated everybody like literally every single person at the store she used to talk to me sometimes but then sometimes she seemed like she hated me too and i was just like this bitch is a weirdo but anyway she hated literally everybody so anyway um yeah, so the one lady, when I'm back there, she came back there. Mind y'all, nobody's on the floor. <sighs> nobody's on the floor because the other girl left for her break. And she came back there to follow me. Mind y'all, you clearly see that I'm about to throw up. So, yeah, where'd you want me to do it? Where? So, she ended up coming back there. She's like, Simone, are you okay? Like, what's going on? Like, you two minutes late from your break. <laughs> Mind y'all, you hear me in the back door. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, that ain't the noise I make. But when I throw up, I don't know what to do okay anyway so yeah so i'm back there and she was just like um someone was going on you're too missing from your break so i was like i really don't feel good mind you i told them this when i got here so she's like oh baby girl you're throwing up duh so she's like maybe no i'm just in the bathroom making weird noises for my mixtape so i'm just like um y'all don't feel good and i start telling her like yeah i went and got my hair done today and she braided so tight that she gave me this mysterious pill and i took it and i didn't eat nothing and she was just like you know what you know what you know what? just go home just go home for today because um i you know i you can't be out at the store like this you know it's not cool i wouldn't want to be at the store either just go home i'll just tell her you're sick so i'm like you sure like should i call her because like they'll be like call them even though they're not there to manage or whatever call them and then whatever so i was like shall i call her she's like no i'll tell her i'll tell her just go you need to just go now so i'm like okay thank you so much like all right so y'all i'm like get my i get my stuff which i should have called her i get my stuff and i'm like all right i'm gonna go she's like yeah me and such and such can handle it we could close so i get my stuff and i'm gonna go why were me and her walking from the back room two girls ran out the store <laughs> they seen us and they just ran out the store so she was like oh my god do you think they stole something so i'm like i don't know and even if they did that's not my problem like that's not my job description they really no not yeah that job they really did i think they told us like catch people stealing you get like a clap on the shoulder or something like that but at bloomingdale's they you catch my slip at bloomingdale's you really it, it's beneficial but um but it's not like they want you to stop them or anything like that you just gotta really go that's a whole different story. Bloomingdale's, you you really get some benefit. You'll get money and they'll be like, don't stop them. Don't say shit to them. Just come tell the um the people. That's all you got to do. It's like, go slide over to, I can't think of what they call the secret people. The secret security people. All you got to do is just tell them. Or shit, you go on the camera. They got cameras everywhere. You could just start throwing up gang signs. They probably like, oh, okay, I see what you're trying to say. But, but I was not never going to chase anybody out the store. Oh, I got so many stories about this job. But anyway, so I'm like, I don't know. So I leave. I'm like, okay, sure. She's like, yeah, go, go. Like, you're going to be back and forth out the back room anyway. So just go home. It's fine. So when I was leaving out the door, um, the other girl, she was coming back in with like Wetzel Pretzel. She was like, where are you going? So I'm like, I'm going home. I don't feel good. And she was like, what the hell? I was trying to go <laughs> stop she's like what the hell i was trying to go home early so i was just like oh i don't really feel good and she's like but i had already asked i just walked away because i really don't care like i just walked off so anyway 
I'm leaving at this time. I'm like, fuck, I got to get on the bus. So I'm like, damn, that boy said he don't get off until like another hour or two. I could not wait. I'm like, I got to go. I'm like, damn, I got to catch the bus home. Fuck. So I'm over here like, damn, who can I hit up? Who can I hit up? So I end up putting on Instagram, like on the notes, I screenshot, post it on my page, like who could do me a favor? I need a ride. So I'm at the bus stop waiting for the bus. I'm throwing the up outside the mall, all of that. So right when I hop on the bus, um, guess who hits me up? Phone ringing. Answer it. Simone! That shit irritated me bad. Because, bro, well, he didn't know I was sick. But, yeah. So, I'm like, what? <laughs> Not me saying what, but I need you. So, he like, Simone! I see. Y'all already know the nail cycle, if you don't know. If you knew here, yeah, that's him. So, they was, he was like, I'm like, what? He like, I see you need a favor. You need a ride. What's up? Where you at, girl? Where you at? So, I'm like, I'm on a bus right now. I'm leaving from work. My job, the nail cycle is a, is annoying as fuck, but he comes through when you need him. Cause, so, yeah. So, he was like, you you on the bus? He was like, you want me to... So, I'm, I told him, like, my issue, everything that happened. So, he like, dang, get off the bus. I'm gonna come get you. So, I'm like, no, if I get off the bus, I'm gonna be at a random ass fucking place. A random like neighborhood just a random bus stop when it's like i could see if i was at the mall still and i could wait there like you know like but no like so i'm like you know what this bus takes me to another bus i had to take anyway so i'm like it takes me to the bus station like this bus station like the el monte bus station or some shit i think that's what it what it was so i'm like yeah it takes me there and then i had to get on another bus from there so i'm like just meet me there so he's like okay i'm gonna meet you there or whatever i'm gonna take you home so i'm like thank you because i don't feel good da, da, da. he's like okay you want me to stop anywhere and get you something i'm like you give me a sprite or something ginger ale i don't know i just need something he's like yeah okay i, I got you small i'm gonna be there simone so i just hung up the phone because i don't got time for this shit like i told your motherfucking ass i don't feel good and you over here yelling my name and long and shit what what are you doing that for so anyway, I get there and I see his car when I'm like pulling up. Y'all, I'm like a kid head on a window, see the car like, yes, okay. I ain't got to worry about being on another bus. Because y'all, at this point, I forgot to mention, I did take a bag from work and I was throwing up in that bag on the bus. Like people was really looking at me like, and it's like, girl, I don't give a fuck. This public transportation, this shit dirty anyway. But it's like, at least I wasn't throwing up on the floor. Anyway, so I get out the bus. That bag was full and I just put it in the trash can. I start walking towards his car. I could not hold it. I just was like, Bleh. I just threw up and some got on the car. And he was just like, oh, some What the fuck? No, no, cut, no. You're not going to be doing that on my car. Cut. Oh, I should have recorded your ass. So I'm irritated at this point. And I'm low-key crying because I'm in so much pain. Not because of him. I could give a fuck less about him. But I was in pain. Like, my head was hurting bad. My stomach hurting bad. My chest hurting from throwing up. Like, I just was feeling so much pain. So I ended up hopping in the car. He was like, uh, uh, damn, that's, you just sick like that? And I'm like, I told you I was sick. Can you take me home? So he like, I got you. I got you. So I'm like, did you get the Sprite? He's like, nah, nah, I was trying to make it here. So I'm like, okay, understandable. So I laid the seat all the way back. And when I was laying back, I noticed I was like, cool. So I was like, okay, I just got to lay like this. So we driving. And he was like, I'm going to pull up to the store. Because I'm like, you really don't got to go to the store no more because you're taking me home. And we got Sprite there. So he was like, nah, nah, um. I'm going to get you your spray. I'm going to get your 7-Up. I'm going to get you something else he said he was going to get me. Alka-Seltzer or some shit. I don't know. So he pulled to the store. I'm still in the store. I'm laid back in the car. Next thing you know, I hear him outside the car talking to somebody for the longest. So I kind of wonder, because my job, I was laid back and see. I never noticed what store we went to. I noticed it did take us a long fucking time to get to the store, but I never noticed. Why, when I noticed he was talking to somebody for so long at this store outside, like, oh, da 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 I'm like... I know he just didn't randomly run into somebody. And where are we? So I lift up slowly. Why are we in his hood? Why were why are we in your hood? Why why are we in your hood? You could have literally stayed on the freeway, but instead you got off the freeway and you went down that way. We could stay on the freeway. Even though, yeah, we kind of had to pass by his hood, but like kind of not really. You didn't have to get off the fruit and go that way. You should just stay going this way. So I'm so irritated. And I was just like, can you get my Sprite? So he walked over there. He's like, oh, here you go. He's like, yeah, you already know. You already know. And they was like, oh, so, so, so. Person like, she drunk. She drunk. Mind you, I would not be drunk. It was like a random weekday. He was like, the person was like, she drunk. He was like, you know, I got to make sure she good. I got to make sure she good. That's one thing I hate about him. One thing about the nail cycle, he's going to come through, but you're going to go home when he feel like taking you home. He's going to want to take you all around everywhere, I guess, to make it seem like you with him. And it's like, stop playing with me for real, big dog. Stop playing with me. So anyway, he come back in the car. 
smiling. I'm like, all right, why are we up in your hood? Like, why are we over here? He's like, oh, oh, my, my bad, Simone. You wanted to seven up. I just didn't want to stop anywhere. You know, I, I just, the crib can't stop anywhere. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, well, could you take me home? Because I told you you didn't even have to do all of that. Like, I could have just got it from home. He like, dang. I know somebody going to be like, you're so ungrateful because the way I was talking to him. But, y'all, you got to. He liked that shit. He loved it. He loved it. Like, I swear to God, ask my sister. If she, if you're not cussing him out, he's going to make, he's going to push, push, push until you cuss him out. And then he's going to be like, yes. He loves it. I don't know what it is. He never said it, but I can just tell. He liked that shit. So, anyway, I'm like, yeah, can you take me home now? So he like, all right, all right, I'm going to take you home, I'm going to take you home. Lay back down so you don't throw up. Lay back down because you throw up in here. You throw up some more. And I'm just like, bro, this nigga's annoying. So anyway, he ended up um, driving. We driving and then we stopped the car. Stopped kind of too soon. I don't live this close to the hood, well, to your hood. So why, why is the car getting cut off? So he was like, Simone, I got to go in here and I just got to pick up this cash real quick. Because after, after I take you home, I'm going to go home, mind you. He lives closer to this location. So if you was going to go home, you could take me home and you got to come back this way any fucking way. So why am I here? So I was just like, are you serious? He's like, you don't really want to stay in the car over here, though. You want to get out the car. So I'm so irritated because it's like, bro, you're weird. My job. I'm just like, why do I want to get out the car? Like, where are we going into? So he's like, you know what? You don't got to go out the car. You don't got to go out the car. I'm going to be real quick. I'm going to be real quick. So he go in there. I'm so irritated. I'm like, man, this nigga is pissing me the fuck off. So anyway, he ended up coming back to the car. Why would he come back to the car? I'm here. Voice is walking too. Why two people hop in the back seat? So I got to lift the seat up. And they was like, oh, my bad, my bad. But can you lift your seat up? Because I ain't trying to sit in the middle next to bro. Can you lift your seat up? So I look over at him like... And he's like, Simone, don't do not do it. Don't do it. Okay, I got to drop them off at the homie house. And that's where I'm picking up the cash at. He's like, but this cool. Don't even worry about it. You know, I'm going to get your nails done or something like that. And I'm just like, why do you do this when you're around other people? Because, bitch, what is you acting like we talk or something? Like, I didn't say none of that, though, because I didn't want to be that person. But I was just sitting there confused, like, this nigga's getting on my nerves. So, anyway... My thing is, I know somebody going to be like, you can't be saying anything when you getting a free ride from somebody. He could have said he has errands to do. I would have stayed thrown up on the bus because at least I would have been almost home by then. So anyway, so we pull up to the next house and he was like, yeah, um, they get out the car. He was like, so you got to get out the car. So I was like, why? He's like, because um, you just got to get out the car. Like somebody just did like a whole little drive oh you can say drive by it's like drive by over here like you just don't want to be in the car you know i can't let nothing happen to my baby so i said what like <laughs> what the fuck did you talk about so he's like yeah you gotta get out the car so i'm like man when are you taking me home and i call him by his real name so i'm like nail psycho when are you taking me home <laughs> i was gonna say that boy nothing but he was like i'm gonna take you home i'm gonna take you home i got you i got you He's like, I just got to pick up this money. You know, you know how niggas be one minute. You, they say, come down. When they say, come down for your money, you got to get your money. Because, man, this nigga been on me for a cool minute. So, I'm like, all right, all right, whatever. So, I get out the car. I walk kind of slow. I'm like, oh, my God. But I'm not, like, feeling too fucked up. Like, like I ain't feel like I had to puke again. So, we get to the door. Finally, they banging on the door, banging on the door. This man's not answering the door. So, the other boy, he was like, man, I'm finna go through that nigga window. I know how to do that shit. He was like, man, let's go through the window. Let's show him. Like, man, let's go through the window. And I'm just thinking, like... Why are y'all going through this nigga window? But it's like, let's go through the window. Let's go through the window. Let's scare him. What if he's y'all? But I'm just standing there and I'm just like, this is stupid as fuck. So they banging one boy, banging. He's like, bang, I'm a bang. And y'all go through the window. That shit really gonna scare that nigga. And they like banging on the window, trying to go through. I mean, banging on the door, trying to crack this man window open. Like, what type of friends are y'all? Why is y'all fucking trying to break in my house? So I, I, anyway, so he finally opened the door. He opened the door and he had like a towel around him and it was a girl behind him. And she was like, who the fuck is that? Hitting on the door like that. And it's like, ah, oh, let us in, let us in. So he was like, all right, I'm going to let y'all in. So he was like, go back to the room. Like tell her to go back to the room because clearly she probably had no clothes on. So he come, they clearly was, yeah, they was hunching, they was getting it in. So we walk in the house. He was like, damn, who are these people? Mind you. All these people was me because he know the other two niggas that's with him. He know the other two people that's with the nail cycle. So you saying, damn, who are these people? Like you mean me. You mean, who am I? So he's like, damn, who all these people? Maybe because he only seen me. He probably didn't know if it was other girls too. And his girlfriend probably wasn't going to have that. I don't know. But he was like, man, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's like, you know, we just here real quick. So they came in the house. When we walked in the house, I just like stood there like at the corner. Because I didn't know where to go sit at. And I just was standing there. Why the two other boys, they go and they hop on the game. They hop on the game. 
Like, they cut this man's game system on, cut the TV on, and hopped on the game. So, the nail cycle, he's like, yeah, bro, yeah, I had to go pick her up from work. Like, he just was talking, telling him about my situation. The boy just stopped him dead in his tracks, like, nigga, like, I do not care. He did not say that, but he was just like, all right, yeah, but what y'all niggas doing here? He was like, bro, you already know. You owe me the bread. He was like, man, I'm going to beat your ass in this game. You ain't, I ain't finna have to owe you nothing. So, I'm sitting there like what like i'm just well standing there i'm just so confused so he's like small go sit down you can sit down somewhere so he's like yeah she don't really feel good or nothing like that so i'm like this nigga is weird because no you didn't so he's like so we're gonna play one game and then we go and i was like are you serious and he's like yeah mind y'all a lot of people be like i would have called an uber y'all <laughs> I, I had a bank account but it was nothing in there um, what happened with my bank account? I never did like no bank fraud or anything like that. So my bank account is cool. I've been having the same bank account for like years. But I think it was like overdraft or something like that. I wasn't even giving my paychecks in there. Like I was not because I was like, you know what? When I'm doing a little better, then I'll start doing it and fix my bank account, which is fixed now. But it was some reason why. I stopped using that bank account for like a year or so. Maybe it was overdraft. I don't know. And I just didn't want to pay the fees and shit. I really don't remember. But I had an Uber account. So, um, was Uber even a thing at that time? I don't even know. And y'all know taxis, man. <clears throat> Once I, taxis would take literally the next day they'll come like, do you need a ride? And they'd be like, bitch, I called you yesterday. But anyway, so I was sitting there. I was like, are you serious? And he was like, yes, I'm on just one game, just one game, and then we're going to be gone. So I was so annoyed. He was like, yes, she don't really feel good or whatever like that. He was like, man, ask, ask, whatever, whatever, his girlfriend. Like, ask, ask her if she got something that could help her. I think she got cramps or something. Like, you said your period started. And I was just like, no, I said I took a pill. So they're like, what type of pill? You took a molly? I'm like, no. What well, shit? I don't know at this point. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm like, no. I took like a muscle relaxer or something. So they're like, oh, okay, that, that shouldn't do that. You said you was sick, man. No, she was throwing up all day. But didn't you say you get like that when you're on your cycle too? And I'm just like, why are you putting my business in the streets? I don't know why I told, why he knew that about me. Maybe I'll tell him shit. But I did get, I do get like that. I do be throwing up and sick and shit. But anyway, so he's just talking. So he calling the girlfriend. So the boy's calling his girlfriend like, baby, come here, come here. You got something to help her. She feels sick, like all this other stuff. Did you, wait, you said you're on your period. And I'm just like, I never said that. So I'm like, no. And I trying to explain to her, like, I got my hair done, da, da, da. So she's like, oh, okay. Um, she's like, you know what? You probably need a hot shower. Like that works for me. I'll take a shower. She's like, you come lay down in the room because this one game going to take them forever. I know you don't want to be around them. So she's like, you can take a shower so i was like oh and i'm over here thinking about it and i'm like you know what i have been throwing up so much i really just want to i want to brush my teeth and take a shower i've been throwing up but i'm like i could just honestly go in a bathroom put my mouth under the sink and just like gargle and like i don't know some shit so i was like i was thinking about it. i was like it's okay it's okay she's like girl no a shower is gonna have you feeling good and she's like this game is gonna take forever like with them so you might as well so i was like okay so she gave me some she gave me a t-shirt and like some leggings and she was like here you go get in the shower she gave me a, a cloth and all that stuff i know y'all probably think like bitch you took a shower around a people's house yes so i went in the bathroom i locked the door i went in the bathroom i took a shower i was in there for a cool minute i'm crying in the shower y'all mind you she gave me like a shower cap too so i put my hair up. i'm crying in the shower i'm just like oh my god like i'm feeling sick but the shower did kind of help but kind of didn't because i threw up in a shower too but i cleaned it y'all i'm not dirty so anyway i took a shower whatever i was like gargle rinse with they stuff and then when i got out the shower i was looking for her to give her like the towel like my towel and stuff but then i was also looking for nail cycle so i was like nail cycle and i went in the living room because my job i was in the shower for a cool minute and i told him like if you want to leave at any point come just knock on the door and i'll get out the shower if i'm in there too long so i went in there and i was like nail cycle so everybody's still there except him so he was like the boyfriend the boyfriend the guy who lived there he was like oh he left real quick he left real quick to the store he'd be right back so I'm like, when did he leave? He's like, not too long ago. So I'm like, okay. So the girlfriend's like, you could come in here, you could come in here, you come lay down. She was like, I'm on the phone, but if I'm too loud, just let me know. Like, I'll turn the TV on, something like that. You come lay down in here. So I was like, okay. Kind of annoyed. So I was like, all right. So she was just like, yeah, um, how you feel? So I'm like, I feel a little bit better. Like the shower helped or whatever. So I was like laying down at the edge of her bed. And she was like, yeah, you could get under the covers. Like, you cool. She was just on the phone or whatever, like with her friend or whatever. So I'm just like, okay. So then she was like, yeah, you could take a nap if you want to. So I was like, no, because when um, Nail Psycho come back, he's going to take me home. So she was like, well, when is he coming back? Because he kind of been gone for a cool minute. She was like, he left like right when you got in the shower. Mind y'all, I was in that shower for a cool minute. Like, I was in there for, like, probably, like, 15, 10, 15 minutes. Not that much of a cool minute, but, yeah. But, so I'm thinking, like, okay, 
he probably went to the store, but it shouldn't take that long, so he should be back in a minute. So she was like, yeah, well, I don't know, because I know he went to go pick up some some tree from somebody. Like, she said the person name. She was like, and, you know, like, that need to be having him run around and do all type of shit, because he don't really be having it. He the middleman. So I said, he was going to pick up some, some what? So I'm like, do you know where he was going to pick it up at? And she was like, oh, probably, like, on Western Century. I said, Western Century? So, nigga, hold on. So I'm like, hold the fuck up. So I call him, and I'm like call him he didn't answer the phone i call back i'm blowing this boy phone up i call like three times he finally answered the phone so i'm like bro where the fuck you at so he was like oh simone simone okay okay simone hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i'm doing something right now and you could hear somebody in the background like a girl or something so he like so so i'm gonna come back i'm gonna come back i'll be right back i'm gonna be right back so i was like man what the fuck like aren't you supposed to be taking me home i was so irritated so he ended up hanging up the phone like he hung up in my face and i'm just like this nigga's weird like i was so irritated so she's like yeah you could just lay down like you could just go to sleep if you want to she's like and i'll just wake you up when he get here or whatever she's like let me go tell my my dude like to tell him to hurry up and come back she was like, because I know you want to go home. So I'm like, all right. So I laid there and I kind of like dozed off. Mind y'all, when I looked at my phone, it was a certain time. And when I finally, 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 when the nail cycle like came, I wake up to somebody tickling my toes. And who's tickling my toes? The big head ass motherfucking nigga, the nail cycle. So I look, I wake up because I kind of like kick. And I'm like, what the, f I'm talking about, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what is you doing? I'm like, man, you get on my fucking nerves. It's like, Simone, come on, I've been waiting. I was letting you sleep. I look at my phone, y'all. It probably was like an hour later, probably like 40 minutes, but that's still a long time. So I'm like, bro, you're annoying as fuck. So he's like, I've been here the whole time. I've been just letting you sleep, get your rest because you feeling sick. So the girl, was, the girlfriend was like, no, he had. No, he haven't. He just got back. He just got back. So, y'all, I'm so irritated. I was like, take me home. Take me home. So, I told the girl, I'm like, oh, I could change back into my clothes and give you your clothes back. Because why not change into her clothes if I plan on doing that anyway? But she's like, no, it's cool. It's just a leggings and a t-shirt, girl. You could keep that. So, I was like, okay, well, thank you or whatever. So, we leaving out. And the two boys, they was like, bro, you going to drop us off first? So, I was like, no. No, like no y'all no he I don't care if y'all live around the corner. I don't give a fuck if you live next door. This nigga's taking me home next. Not y'all. I don't care where y'all live at. You can live downstairs from this motherfucking nigga. I don't care. No. So he was like, bro, I'm gonna be right back. Let me just take her home and I'm gonna come back. So we hop in the car and I was so irritated. I'm like, bro, you get on my motherfucking nerves. Like, why the fuck would you leave me at these people's house? Even though they was nice, well, his girlfriend was nice and shit. But I'm like, why the fuck? Da -da -da -da. I'm going in on him. He just smiling. Simone. Simone. Like, when I say this nigga's annoying, like, when I say this is the most annoyingest person in the fucking world, I'm just kidding. Not in the world, but like, it, it's there. It, it gets very close. So I was just like, I'm going off. Like, I'm going off on him. He loving this shit. He just smiling and screaming Simone from time to time. And I'm just like, oh, this bitch getting on my motherfucking nerves. So I'm like, yeah, take me home. You will never see my face again. <laughs> he was like, bet Simone. It wasn't even like that. I had to get some money and da da da. And then he's delusional as fuck too. Cause he's like, um, yeah, what he said to me, he gonna say, yeah, because you know, you be wanting money and shit. Mind you, nigga, you, you I don't, you're, you're not giving me money. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, bro, the delusion is crazy because who, who are you talking to? So I'm like, who are you talking to? And he like, I'm talking to you. You know, like a nigga gotta get his money up because you know, you expensive. When the f like lit nick nigga, you got my nails done before. You give me rides from time to time. Chill out, big bro. Like what the fuck is you talking about? Like you buy me food from time to time. What are you talking about? Expensive. Like what the fuck is you talking about? Like and I was just like, bro, you're weird. Like take me the fuck home. Mind you, he's like, I'm taking you home. You want to stop get something to eat? You want to get something to eat? So I'm like, nah, I got food at home, man. I don't want to stop nowhere else with you. Stopping somewhere else with you would be some fucking dumb ass shit. So then he was like, okay whatever so now his phone started ringing and he look at his phone he's like ah oh, nah nah i can't so i'm like just answer your phone like mind you i don't care because what did you not answer the phone around me for i'm nobody to you like at all ever never would be never could be let me stop but never ever ever he already know because i tell him that all the time he'd be like now can we talk i'm like no what the fuck don't want to talk didn't want to talk then don't want to talk now ain't gonna want to talk then never ever ever anyway he's like um man god no nah, i can't even nah nah so i'm like just answer your phone like what the fuck because mind you it's on the ox so it kept ringing so finally he answered the phone he like hello he being weird how he answered the phone you know how somebody trying to answer the phone but they being weird which i don't understand why because i literally was just sitting there in silence i'm not saying anything so he's being weird to not to me but to the person he on the phone with he's being so weird so he answered the phone he just like hello like said whatever so 
it's a girl he never took it off the ox but he got the phone to his ear weird right i know he y'all probably thinking like maybe he thought it was gonna get back off the ox but the whole time he was talking to her he had the phone to his ear and it was on the ox like it was on the out loud like the speaker so he talking to her and she was like where the fuck did you go who called you da 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 so he like, man, I had to handle something. I had to, I'm going to pull back over there. I'm going to pull back over there. I know that you had a little waiting for me. Oh, and she's like, nigga, you got me fucked up. And he like, oh, don't play with me. You know you want this. You know you want me to beat that little, see up. And I'm just sitting here like, this is cringy as hell. And um, he just like talking to her. She's like, you got me fucked up, nail psycho. She didn't call him that, but yeah, she called my name. And she's like, you got me fucked up. And she's like, who the fuck was calling you anyway? Da, da, da. Why'd you have to leave? And he's like, man, I'm not with nobody right now. She did not say that. He was like, she did not ask this man. And he was like, I'm not with nobody right now. I'm not with nobody right now. Man, you be tripping. Ain't nobody with no bitches right now. Da, 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 da. So I'm just sitting here like, this nigga is weird. Because you, like, I don't know. Maybe he wanted her to think she he had other females. Or something. I don't know. It was weird. So she like, oh, you must be with a bitch because I ain't never even said that. Oh, you must be with a bitch. She's like, and tell the bitch you with. Tell the bitch she with if she could hear you. He was like, man, ain't nobody with me. Can't nobody hear you. I'm in the car by myself. And he'll look over at me and smile. And I'll look at him like, stop looking at me. Just drive. So um, he like, yeah, I'm not with nobody. I'm not with nobody, man. Because stop playing. Just make sure that little sweater for me. She's like, anyway, if the bitch put me on speaker, put me on speaker. She's like, if if the bitch could hear me, she needs to know. That nigga literally ate the shit out of my ass. <laughs> Yo, I said, it was like a, cause at that moment I was drinking my, my Sprite and it was like, I almost spit that shit out. Cause I was like, like, do she mean he literally ate her ass or do he, did she mean it when she said he literally ate the sh out of her ass? Like he literally ate some sh out of that girl's ass. Like, so I was like, the fuck? And I looked over at him like, this is, like, you be on some other shit, bro. Oh, okay. But yeah, so he was just like, um, she said that. He was like, man, God, stop playing with me. God, man, what the fuck? You stupid as fuck, bitch. Stop playing with me. But he laughed. He like, oh, God, you a dumb bitch. Ah. And she's like, no, I'm not playing with you, nail psycho. Da 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 And you didn't even smoke the, with me. You didn't even smoke with me. You had to pull off. Da 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 He like, man, stop playing with me. Like I said, had a little sweat for me. She's like, bitch, stop playing with me. So now they call each other bitches, but he's laughing. And she just like, yeah, bring the weed back. Bring, oh, bring the tree back. Bring the tree back. And yeah, so he was just like, man, I'll be there in a minute. I'll be there in a minute, but I'm not with nobody. And she was like, I, it's like, no, no, no. They just talking. So he hang up the phone. So I said, ugh, like right when he hang up the phone, I was like, ugh. He's like, what? I said, you ate shit out that girl ass. And he was like, man, you got me fucked up, small. You got me fucked up. I ain't never did that to that girl. But he laughing. I'm just laughing too. And I'm like, man, give me home, doodle -doo breath. So he like he laughing. Even though it, I don't know what his breath smell. I can't get that close to that man. So yeah, so I'm just like, we laughing and shit like that. And he like, man, she just play too much. That's this little bitch. I'm trying to go on. That's this little sitch. He kept calling her a sitch. That's this little sitch. I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to go on. You know, she playing hard to get, man. She playing hard to get. Like, why is she playing hard to get? And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe because you weird. I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. So he like, yeah, she playing hard to get whatever, da, da, da. He just talking about the girl, which I can care less. So finally he gave me a ride home. And he was like, all right, Simone, you good? You good? He was like, tomorrow we could go go eat or do something if you want to. And I was like, nah, that's cool. So he's like, all right, y'all, when I got in that house, I promise y'all, I don't know. It's like the pain came back right when I got in the house. I instantly went in the bathroom hopped in the shower and put my head under the fucking water mind y'all i just got my hair done that day put my head under the water that shit was not helping my head still hurting bad as fuck it's pounding i literally laid in the dark this was the dumbest shot i could have did because i cut my hair i laid in the dark and i started cutting the tracks out laying in my bed crying i just started cutting that weave out cut the shit out i cut some of my hair because why the fuck did i do that in the dark i don't know the light was hurting my eyes. And that's what I was going to say earlier. Never mind. But yeah, the light was hurting my eyes really, really bad. But yeah, I laid in the dark and I cut that weave out. So, man, I cut that weave out. And it's crazy because, like, the next day, I literally had <laughs> just gonna leave out in a beehive and mind y'all the way she did my hair too y'all like she didn't even leave enough um leave out out to cover all my tracks like so it wasn't gonna work out with that hairstyle no way 
but I was so mad because I really paid that girl to do my hair. And she hit me up the next day like, hey, don't forget to send me pics so I can post them on my Instagram. Girl, fuck you and your Instagram page. And I was just like so annoyed. And she really was harassing me like literally for days. She kept hitting me up like, oh, you didn't send me no pictures. You didn't send me no pictures. And I'm like, girl. And I finally told her because when I did finally take a picture because mind y'all, I had the, um, I don't know, the braids eventually like... Well, I took some of them out and then, like, kind of did it over anyway. And, y'all, I ended up doing my weave over myself. And why, when I posted a picture, she was, like, commenting on my picture and was like, oh, you didn't tag me. I did this hairstyle. So I had to tell her, I said, girl, no, I took that shit out the same day. Like, I literally took it out the same day. And she was like, oh, why? Like, what's, what's wrong with it? And I told her, like, the whole issue. And she was like, oh, well, I never had that happen to nobody. Like, none of my other clients complain and all this other stuff. Girl, how are you mad and hitting me and telling me all this shit as if I hit you up? It's not like I even, I never hit this girl up and tell her, like, hey, I want my money back. Hey, can you loosen up my hair? Can you fix it? I never said shit to you. So why are you telling me about your other clients that don't complain when one of them complained in my face? And I'm just thinking, like, okay, girl, I don't give a fuck who did or did not complain. I did not reach out to you to help me with my hair hair again like I literally took that L and just redid my hair so why are you trying like she really was like yeah none of my other clients complain so I don't see the problem maybe it's this are you tender headed da, da, da. you're barely not used to getting your hair done bitch please you make it seem like you fucking watching my Instagram page and I don't never got my hair done like girl go to hell with gasoline draws on take them motherfucking draws and that pill dip it in some gasoline and go to motherfucking hell ho because you got me fucked up I was just really like this bitch got me so fucked up because it's like the way she was really trying to just like well, maybe this one, maybe that. Well, maybe, bitch, you and them fucking heavy hand ass fucking gorilla hands need to learn how to not brace so motherfucking tight. The fuck? So, anyway, so, yeah, that's it for this story time, y'all. Never take a ride from the nail cycle, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to name this story. Maybe I might name it that. But, yeah, that's it for this story time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to go ahead and shop Brashari on August 15th because we coming with the other colors. Bop, 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 bop. I'm just kidding. Let me stop. It's 12, um, 12, 21. If y'all get this video in this same day, cause it's literally August 4th, Friday. So if y'all get it Friday, that mean I stayed up cause I love y'all so much. But if y'all get it Saturday, that mean that I was tired and I said, I didn't really give a fuck about doing anything. But yeah, anyway, I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all.